Good morning, welcome to Secret London with me, Mark Munro, and today I'm at Heathrow Airport because this episode of Secret London is going international. Right, let's jump on that plane and see where we're heading to. Just to let you know, I won't be driving my taxi over to the secret destination we're going to today. I like it though. And if you haven't guessed by now, I've made my way to the beautiful city of Rome. And I guess I know what you're thinking. What's Rome got to do with London? I mean, we all know what Rome is famous for. Right here, the incredible Vatican City. The amazing St. Peter's Basilica. The beautiful Spanish steps. in the fountain, which one will the fountain bless? The romantic and beautiful Trevi Fountain. 
because of the current situation with COVID in Italy, the fountain itself is not taking any coins, but it is taking contactless payment. Walk up to the fountain, tap your card, then you can check your bank account to see if your donation has been blessed. Simples. The huge Vatican Museum, home to the world famous Sistine Chapel. the amazing Colosseum. Can you imagine the noise when a gladiator came out of the main entrance into this full auditorium? The Pantheon, the best preserved monument of ancient Rome and most magnificent symbol of the empire. And of course, we can't forget the amazing Italian food. This dish is cacio e pepe. It's a traditional Rome dish and its simplicity makes it absolutely delicious. Perfecto. We can all agree that Rome is indeed an historical and beautiful city, and we've an awful lot to thank the Roman Empire for. The empire was not only a powerful one, but was one of the most prosperous civilizations to have ever flourished on the planet. We can thank them for roads and highways, arches, our calendar, sewers and sanitation, concrete, aqueducts, traffic signs, and also something we couldn't do without in this day and age, fast food. And if it wasn't for the emperor behind me, Emperor Claudius, my channel might never have existed. In 43 AD, this emperor actually founded London, or Londinium. It's often thought that the mighty Julius Caesar was responsible for the founding of Londinium, or London, on the banks of the River Thames. He did actually invade Britain on two occasions, in 55 and 54 BC, but was not successful in establishing a Roman base in the southeast of England. It wasn't until 43 AD that the ambitious Emperor Claudius set his sights on the previously unobtainable island of Britannia. If Claudius was going to be taken seriously as a ruler, he needed that island. And to achieve this successful acquisition of Britannia, he required a great general. And it was here at the Forum, the administrative centre of the Roman Empire, where the Emperor Claudius nominated Plautius to head north, cross the Channel and establish a settlement on the banks of the River Thames. Claudius dispatched General Plautius with an army of at least 40,000 troops from the continent to Kent. Plautius battled hard against the Catavalloni army and had them pushed back at Colchester before Claudius arrived with reinforcements. The Roman army then made their way west along the banks of the marshy Thames before constructing a temporary military pontoon on the river which would eventually become the settlement's first London bridge. This strategic site needed staff to protect it, so the settlement grew quickly. Wharves were constructed for ships to unload, 
and roads and buildings began to appear along the riverside. The first Roman Londinium was around 60 acres and rectangular in shape. In the centre was the Forum and a marketplace that was enclosed by a basilica with shops and offices. The town initially acted as a military supply centre, but soon grew in importance as a trading place, importing manufactured goods and exporting slaves, tin and lead. It grew rapidly by 60 AD and was estimated to have a population of around 25,000 inhabitants. It was this small town, established on the banks of the Thames by the Roman Empire, that over the millennia flourished into the thriving metropolis we now know as London. So London really does have a lot to thank the Roman Empire for. Thanks for watching today's episode of Secret London with me, Mark Munro. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave any comments down below, hit that thumbs up button, and if you really enjoyed it, why not subscribe? And come to Rome, it's beautiful.